Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to create your own custom ringtone on iPhone 16e. You can create the ringtone either from a sound that you've bought and downloaded from the internet or by creating your own custom one by recording it with some digital instruments. You can also record your vocals if you want or just do the instrumental version and there is way more into it. So let's begin. You need to get the GarageBand app on your iPhone, which you can download from App Store. You can see this app right here, GarageBand. It's totally free and provided by Apple. So it's also fully secure and you can freely use it. Uh, so just download it and then open it and it opens horizontally. So here I'm just gonna click on plus to get into this screen right here. And in the first part of this video, I'm gonna explain how to um, use a sound that you have bought and download it with digital download on your iPhone. Um, also, I uh, really discourage you from um, downloading from illegal sources. Make sure you have bought it from a legal place. And um, this is uh, this is gonna be pretty easy. And in the second part of the video, I'm gonna make my own custom uh, ringtone because you can see there are different instruments. So with the first one, you just need to go to audio recorder, then click on these lines here. And now click on the loop. But before I do it, I'm gonna click on plus, section A, and I'm gonna set it to automatic, then I'm gonna click on done. Now I'm gonna click on that loop, go to files, and go to browse items from the files app. Now, in the files app, as you have a file downloaded, which you can download from probably from browser if the source um, that you've bought it on supports that option to download the mp3 file from the browser, then you can totally do this. Mm. And once it's done, you should have it in the browse. And then most probably you will have it in the iCloud drive, then downloads. And I have it here. Once you click on it, it'll be imported, but I already have it imported into this place. So now what I can do is just press and hold on it and drag it to the timeline, to the very beginning of the timeline. Now, as I play it, I'm gonna disable uh, the uh, meter. You can see it works. So, now we can just export this file. You can also cut it so it's not beginning at the at the start, but maybe from a certain point. Then just move it to the beginning of the timeline. Just like that. You can also cut it even more and move it however you want. Yeah, I think it looks great now. So I'm just gonna uh, now click on this button right here and go to my songs. Then here you can see this is your newest song. I'm gonna rename it first by pressing and holding and tapping on rename. Then click on done. And now you can just press and hold that, then click on share, ringtone. Okay, so it has to be 30 seconds or less. So I'm just gonna click on continue and um, it just automatically has adjusted itself to first 30 seconds of the recording that I've made. Mm. This is my name of the ringtone. I'm gonna export it. 
and you can automatically use the sound as or go to settings to sounds and haptics and there change it. But I'm gonna click on use sound as, standard ringtone and now as I um, receive a call I will hear this ringtone. And now let's get to the next part of this video which is creating our own um, track. So just click on plus and select any tool that you want to use. So you can, for example, use a guitar. Then here you have different chords, but you can also click on this button to switch between chords to the mm, finger style. So as I You can see I can just click in places that I want to uh, play on. Yeah, I, I, I <laughs> I'm not the greatest as as, as playing the um, touch guitar, but uh, as you can see, you can just play something. So. Uh, you can create your own unique sounds. You can play different chords here. And to start recording, first I recommend clicking on plus then setting the number of bars to uh, automatic, I guess, it's just the easiest. And now start the recording and play it. Okay, and now I have finished the recording, I can pause it. Mm, it's pretty short, but I'm gonna just set it as uh, like a repeating ringtone, so it's supposed to be short. And now we can add another instrument of to on top of that by clicking on these lines right here, then click on plus. Of course, you can also change the type of the instrument, so if you have the acoustic guitar, uh, you can instead play it again by changing the acoustic to, for example, hard rock, and now I'm not gonna hit, hit on recording because it's gonna overwrite what I've recorded, but as you can see... You can see you can play different stuff, so that's great. And now as we go to the... Um, Next instrument, we can, for example, set uh, drums. You can play with it. There's so much you can, you can really do with it. Mm, I'm gonna go to the drums and let's set a beat sequencer. Then as I play... Okay, I have changed the guitar. That's why it makes a weird noise but I'm gonna change it back to the um, acoustic guitar so it doesn't make a weird noise. Okay, now it's now it's fine because the electric guitars should have um, different chords. So here on the timeline, I can select the drummer, go, to in, go into that drummer and I can um, just Let's first listen maybe to the um, to the uh, recording. Okay. What about that? Okay, it's not the best because I didn't set the bit rate, so. Um, Okay, I'm just gonna do something pretty simple. But yeah, the worst part is that I didn't set the bit right. So I'm just gonna do something um, simple. 
although I recommend just playing with it and doing different stuff. Yeah, now it's really weird, but it's just supposed to, 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 to show you that. And then mm, I need to first record it, of course, so I need to position at the beginning. By the way, I'm gonna change the amount of bars now to five bars. And I'm not gonna... Mm, so it doesn't extend uh, the length of the mm, recording. So as I have it now set to five bars, because I have recorded it up to five, then I don't want the drums to be longer than the guitar. And now I can start recording. And now I'm gonna stop playing it. This is how it looks. You can see now on, on the timeline, we have these two um, instruments. Of course, each instrument can be changed uh, always by going to that instrument and changing it to something else like the percussion, the acoustic drums, the electri uh, electronic and all of that. And you can add way, way more. I'm not gonna show you uh, like the rest of it, but you can also do an amp to um, play uh, on, on guitar, uh, audio recorder, strings mm, or bass or whatever in the world you, you wish. Once that's done, go into the timeline and now do the same as with exporting the, mm, the file previously. So just click on the arrow, go to my songs, find this new song. I'm gonna rename it. Then press and hold on it, share, ringtone, export, use sound as, and now I can use it as a standard ringtone, text tone, or assigned to a certain contact. And I actually clicked on done, so it's not assigned to anything, so I just need to go to the settings, sound and haptics, and assign it myself. And that's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.